The US Congress just said that XRP will be worth $10,000, or $9,761 to be exact, by September 2nd. Congress second. Congress has actually told Ripple Labs that they are working with them to create a centrally backed digital currency that will be used to make international payments easier. They also pointed out that China, Brazil, and other BRICS countries have already started doing this, which means the US needs to get on board with the technology before it gets better than them. In fact, this is what he said. CBDC is one kind of digital dollar that is given by the government. The Federal Reserve would issue it and keep an eye on it, and the US government would fully back it. This could be used instead of current payment methods and have benefits like instant payment settlement, a way to make deals across borders, and helping more people get access to money. More than 130 countries are looking into making their own digital currencies that are backed by the government. There are already pilot projects going on in China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and India. It might come out as early as 2028. At the same time, the US is still very far behind, even though there is more and more clear knowledge about digital coverage features. For the record, the US Congress has approved XRP. At the same time, the judge in the Ripple CC case has also approved institutions, banks, and all financial infrastructure to use XRP for payments. This means that anyone who wants to use XRP can. This is a world go for XRP, especially in the US. It means that it is not only not a security, but also a way to pay for things both inside and outside of the US. On top of that, that has already started to happen. India is the first country to use XRP instead of the US dollar, thanks to an agreement between Replenet, the UAE, and India. Also, for those who want to know if XRP can reach over $10,000 well, in a new report that's set to come out on September 2nd, $9,761 per XRP might be the right price. Now, let's take a look at some of the crazy content and the chance to win XRP. Guys, XRP is down about 5% right now, but we're giving you more XRP to fill your bags. To enter, just click the like button, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so that you can get all of their posts. Along with that, you need to follow me on Instagram and my Twitter account at CryptoGeekNews to be able to win. So let's start the video right away. The banks want XRP, and the fact that large banks like the banks like the Bank of America allow it for use as payment shows that they are serious about it. Not just the Bank of America, either JP Morgan, the American bank that owns Chase Bank and is well known you've heard of it, also said they will now accept XRP as a form of payment. It was just a few days ago that Ripple made it public that they have officially agreed to work with the U.S. Treasury on a $10 million project to tokenize official government bonds. When you talk about Ripple and the Federal Reserve working together on a world level, they are not talking about it. A deal has been made to use XRP together with the company Ripple Labs. Here's where the structure innovation at Ripple comes in. They're saying that XRP was never meant to be bought and sold, and they plan to limit it, but it will have to be worth $10,000 when it's limited. Let's play the movie. It's possible for some people to use cryptocurrencies just to buy and sell and make quick money. Does this hurt the growth of cryptocurrencies? It's kind of like chicken and egg. Your job is to make a market. There are now about 150 to 200 exchanges around the world that sell XRP. As you say, a lot of it is very small trades between people, which is not the use case we are going for. We want sophisticated companies to use XRP as a financial asset, as a way to connect different types of money. Does this hurt or harm? It does make a lot of noise. We don't want that much noise either, but we're waiting. And just this past quarter, most of the XRP that was sold was to institutional buyers. It will be used for wholesale you know, financial purposes as soon as it stops being used for retail and starts being used by banks. That's when things will start to change. You can compare the clip I just showed you to what Ripple's co-founder said, and you'll see that they've been stressing the most important point XRP was designed to be worth $10,000 and it will be $10,000, but it needs to be scalable so that it can reach that number for everyone in the world. In fact, Arthur Pritchard made that very clear in a statement XRP was designed for $10,000, but it needs to be able to grow to fit 7.5 billion people. Even as we talk about that, XRP is still going up. It's been said that by 2025, go into the XRP system. Also, Ripple just recently said that they are going to compete with MasterCard. An article from not long ago says that Ripple or XRP now has a cashback scheme that lets them get into a $10 billion market. Indeed, the crypto trading fund has created a system that gives you CTF tokens as a payment, and there are only so many of these tokens available. There are only 120 million CTF tokens in circulation, and a lot of people are trying to get as many as they can because the CTF token helps people earn money passively. This has led to a lot of rumors that the price per CTF may go through the roof. As we always say though, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. 
you should always do your own study. And it's clear that the price of CTF token has gone up about 10% in the last 24 hours. Interestingly, this is exactly what my TA showed. We have the line setup I showed you, and I've talked about this before. I expect CTF token to have a drop, then a spike, and then a retrace. This is because sideways is when we'll see the biggest breakout, and CTF token could potentially go past its all-time high. We could get anywhere from $7 to $10. And once more, this is all based on TA. Anything could happen at any time. All of the breakout patterns, on the other hand, line up with a very high breakout pattern, which means you can also tell that the crypto market for the CTF token, supply shock is very likely to happen because it's getting a lot of traffic. It also has a fairly new meaning. You know, there are only about 3,000 buyers, so it's still very early to make money. I bought some CTF tokens when they were worth about seven or eight cents, and now I have them worth 81 cents. But this is just the beginning. As a matter of fact, I'm slowly building up my holdings using dollar cost averaging. This way I can get as much as I can for the lowest price possible, since analysts are predicting prices of $20 to $30 per CTF token, and even $4 to $500 per token, it doesn't matter if people want it at 81 cents because it could go up to hundreds of dollars. It is also important to note that this is now a part of the XRP record. Not only is the CTF token the only DeFi token and reward system that works with the XRP ledger, but it is now also part of the XRP ledger and lets you get XRP back. Basically, if you pay for something with XRP, you can get cash back using the CTF coin, which will again make a lot more people want to buy it. We could have anywhere from 30 to $50 trillion going into the XRP system. The only DeFi token on the XRP record is the crypto training fund token. Is that likely to go into that? And while that's being said, it's also important to note that the Federal Reserve wants to make money off of the XRP ledger and crypto coin. In fact, the Federal Reserve has decided that XRP is the only digital asset it can use to help people make payments through the FedMap system. In fact, our study also talks about how the platforms are currently in a pilot phase with more than 120 organizations taking part. These include Bank, Exchange Bank, and other payment processing and solution providers. One of the fintech companies that the Fed will now use could be Ripple, a private payment provider for cross-border payments and open source distributed legitimacy for financial operations. Now I'll put a link to the crypto training fund token CTF page in the description so you can learn more. Now is the best time to learn about the CTF token, CTRF rewards framework and DeFi part of it, which is important to know because if we're looking at the next board, it's best to capitalize on it now before the bull run starts and they go through a lot of detail. There are no specifics about how these token payment systems work. The fact that it lets you make passive income by giving you benefits without doing anything, which means that if you have a CTF ticket, you can basically make more of them. Putting any profits back into the business is one of the ideas that has come to mind. This way I can finally retire on my CTF token passive income. It's a great way for me because I don't have to sell any of my assets and I can still buy whatever I want because I'm earning passive income slash rewards every single month. On top of that, guys, I want to point out that it's on the XRPL and the Polygon chain. So if you're trying to get in, you can do so on the XRP ledger or the Polygon chain. Also, just to be completely honest, guys, I've been accumulating CTF, and I can tell you this because I've been looking at the framework. You may have seen my previous videos. The framework and the utility part of it are more than likely going to be a DeFi bull run, and it's going to be all about utility, and this is a golden utility. I came up with the IKMI plan and put it in my portfolio along with CTF, XRP, XLM, Jasmine, and a few other tokens. These are my biggest portfolio bags and I'm keeping them because I think this is where the money is. That's all I have to say about it. The movie is over now. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media sites and subscribe to the channel so you can get personalized alerts. Also, please share this video and subscribe to the channel.